Welcome back, everybody. Playing This is the Police today. I am Old Guy Gamer. I haven't played this game in a while, but I figured I'd go back and revisit it because I haven't found anything new that I wanted to play lately. So we're going to revisit some old games. Let's see. Go to work. <laughs> In jail? Dead? I don't remember. Probably dead. Boom! Promoted! Oh, that's it, huh? Thought it'd be more action than that. Yeah, I don't want to play a song. Let's see what happens today. We're unhappy with efficiency, cutting the budget. Of course you are. You lose one job slot. Removing an occupied slot will automatically fire. Well, can I remove someone that's dead? Maybe I can. Oh, I probably should have replaced these two dead guys with live guys. In in progress. Probably would have been a good idea. How do I play this game? I don't remember trespassing. Bill Buckler reports two unidentified men snuck into his farm and set fire to the barn. Two criminals were attempting to gain entry to the house. Wow. All right, three guys, go make an arrest. I didn't do anything else today. Um, labor market. Oh, I could hire more people. I don't even remember which, uh, I don't know what's going on, whatever. Okay, the sands. Wow. Mafia will falsify a special investigation. So I can kill a detective or kill three cops. Okay. Investigations. See what's going on. Oh, I remember this one. Hmm. I remember I got it all wrong. So maybe I need to assign the detective. I only got one case going right now, so... Let's, uh... No... No, why did I archive it? I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see how long this... Reopen. There we go. What is going on? Why am I doing that? So I have all six detectives on there now? Okay. Whatever. I got three detectives working the case. What else is going on? Cannot meet my request. Deputy. $3,500. Yeah, I don't need any of those things. In progress. Everyday mall. Drug addict attempted to hide an expensive liquor bottle under his jacket. Began to throw a fit. Let's go make an arrest. Looks like we have a situation here. No signs of the criminals near the house. Front door's been broken down and the sh and shadows lurk inside. Go to the back, go through the front, come out with your hands up. Oh, let's go to the back door. Alright, I guess that was the right thing to do. 
It's a really slow day today. What is going on? It's already 11.30. I've only had two calls. Paddy wagon. What? I don't remember much about this as the police. The first one. From Christopher Sand. Jack, one of our new guys tried to rape our accountant. We locked him up in a hotel room, but he's threatening to hand the whole organization over to police. I think it's time he talks to a police officer face to face. I don't want to refuse. I want to send someone. Well, it's not let me do anything. So I guess I have to refuse for now. Theft report. Fender caught. Yay. Two arrests made. Sweet. So I wonder if me not being able to help Mr. Sand just a minute ago because I had no officers available. I wonder if that's going to make me... go along further in the game as far as defeating the crime syndicate or does it hurt me because I mean the end game is to get rid of the crime in the city right parking lot woman reports she saw a skinhead attacking a dark skin valet striking him around the leg saying I'll beat you till you're dead freak she believes she saw a pistol sticking out of the skinhead's belt that sounds pretty legit let's send the same three See how they handle it. We have something going down today at City Center at 6.39. Okay, so don't send anybody at 6.39 to the City Center. Alrighty, what is this? Can I do anything here? Oh, that's the police station. The labor market. That's it, huh? All right. Four ten a in progress. Attempted murder. All right, we'll send them to the the skinhead call to help out, and we're not going to send anybody to the attempted murder because that's how I make my thousand bucks. Ambulance is on the way. Yeah, we'll meet him at the hospital because I have no cops available. It's a nice little easy justification. I'm too busy with other stuff to go to the mafia hit. Alrighty. I wonder if I could have. I wonder if I could have hit sent SWAT on the skinhead call. Oh, okay. Offender escaped, civilian dead. That's what we knew was going to happen. Offender caught, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Sweet. Everyone's getting a little bit better. Suburb. Attempted robbery. Eight year old Kevin's at home alone, hiding under the bed. Unknown persons are gathered outside the apartment door. How much you want to bet? It's like a. Alright, we have 20 seconds. Are they going to get back in time? Since it's a kid, it could be a false alarm. It could be Jehovah's Witnesses. Something like that. Let's send a couple. Oh, well, let me send. I'm trying to make Birch better. So let's do this. Maybe she can help Birch become more professional in his attempts. I don't think he wants to be a better cop, but we're going to make him a better cop no matter what he wants. wonder what the kid saw. Maybe it's an actual burglary in progress. Who knows? I was trying to raise ten one started to pop up. Oh, wow. Okay.
Thought it would be a false alarm. Turns out it's more serious than we thought. Where's the arson report? Three new frames. Yeah, let's look at that. Wow, there's a lot of frames to go through. I'm going to have to reread all this stuff to refamiliarize myself with the case. She shot, she threw. No one was seriously hurt. I remember a girl bright red hair, sold her ticket after the show started. Don't do the bottle in her hand. Thought it was soda. Okay. The red-headed fool. Okay, so Stranger Than Paradise, and then she bought a ticket. Uh, and then Flaming Bottle, then she left. Yay! A student, about a month ago, she unsuccessfully applied for an usher job at the last picture show theater. We'll just assume she didn't get that job. Alright, so we wrap that one up. Let's go see this residential burglary. What was it? I forget what it was called. Let's send the paddy wagon. Attempted robbery, that's what it was. Offender caught. Wow, it actually was an a it actually was an attempted robbery. I thought it was just gonna be a false alarm because it was a kid calling it in. Wow. Glad I sent two. What else? Oh, end of the day. Let's see what happens. I just hired a guy for shift A. Order to work tomorrow. I wonder if I can do that. Let's declare him dead. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to bring her back to work tomorrow to kill her. Declare her dead. In my new role as corrupt official, I had to give up some of my favorite habits. I couldn't turn off my phone when my head ached. Couldn't sleep till noon on Saturday and let the rest of HQ take up the slack. No more days off to go fishing. But my weekly visit to the old colony club was more like tradition. One night a week, I absorbed cigar smoke, the vague smell of alcohol, the stench of urine, all mixed with toxic levels of old drunken belches. Same picture it was 30 years ago. Tradition's got to be honored. And to stay faithful to the tradition, you've got to respect the standard rituals. When you're about to roll out of the club, you need to take a deep breath and count to a hundred. If your stomach doesn't do a backflip, you should be good to make it home. This time, I only got up to sixty. I was interrupted. Why? You look even better than you do on TV. There's nothing more impolite than approaching people in the alley at the old colony. This is the most private place in the city. All who enter here dirty their shoes with the most elite stream of vomit in Freeburg. This asphalt has been blessed by judges, lawyers, artists, businessmen, and all our politicians. Takes a lot of balls to crash the party. My head was a drunken haze, but I knew who he was. A cartoon gangster suit straight out of Dick Tracy. Fancy voice, fruit cologne, sassy strut. That's how the newspapers described Vicus Varga, rising star in Freeburg's criminal underworld. He appeared out of nowhere, and with the support of the local punks, Varga broke all the old rules of organized crime. He killed those who could not be killed, traded what could not be traded, and robbed those who could not be robbed. In just a single month, this man had gathered an incredible amount of power. He's been called everything from a clown to a madman to a criminal genius, and more often than not, he's called a low-class upstart short on ideas. But if Vargas was one of the old crime bosses, 
he'd have been cut into pieces and fed to the river. Look past this guy's arrogance and there's something about him. The city is still deciding what to do with him. Meanwhile, he's burning down the houses of old city mobsters. Not the best time to talk, Mr. Varga. Ma, oh, you know my name. I'm flattered, although not very surprised, to be honest. I might be a little short on manners. Like they say in your fair city, with the right manners, you can go anywhere. Well, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay right here. Even the criminal world needs manners, Mr. Varga. And one of them is this. Don't interfere with a drunken cop who's trying to take a shit and puke at the same time. Oh, you exaggerate. But is Freeburg always so gentle with its officers? You've been a bit roughed up lately. I see you already know Freeburg quite well, Mr. Varga. Well, I love to learn and look around. But I do know that the inhabitants of this fair city should be friends, Jack. Maybe it's true I don't have the best manners. After all, it's only polite for friends to share their phone numbers. This city of yours moves so fast. I feel like I'm hooked on amphetamines all over again. You wake up in the morning full of ideas, and by nightfall, you've all had each other killed. So don't wait too long to call. I don't mind if you're drunk. It's all the more fun. I'll be stoned myself, most likely. Hell, I'm a little stoned right now. It's the only way to live in this place. I like your city, Jack. I'm here to stay. If it weren't for the phone number written on my arm, I probably wouldn't have remembered the conversation in the morning. But there was no reason to worry. I'd be getting a reminder soon. So I'm going to bet that this game, doesn't matter what you do while you're ordering the cops around the city, it's all about just finishing the story, I guess. I mean, you're the chief, you can't exactly get yourself killed, right? And I think he makes it into the sequel, I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not, I'm playing this game after I've already started the sequel. This is The Police 2 on another playlist on my channel, so I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played any of the three games in the series. This is the oldest of the three. I'm just kind of going back to see what it was like. I haven't played it in a while. Priests bribe the mayor. Greece appointed head of Freeburg Orthodox Church. Student volunteer to help farmers. Let's stop right here. We'll save that for another video. We'll keep this one nice and short. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. This one's just an old revisit to an old game because I looked at the list of new games coming out today and I didn't see anything I wanted to play. So we're going back to the old ones. So. You guys can watch some more videos, and I'll go play some more games, and I'll meet you back here next time. Bye.